Hello Pisces, welcome to your reading. This is your mid-month of December. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Alright, so personal readings, everything is on my website in the description below this video. Pisces, we're going to do the true love spread. Ooh, new love. So you starting to feel someone on, you know, feel someone new, feel different about some someone new. <laughs> so this could be um, a new love or someone you recently contacted or contacted you. They want you to make a decision. They want you to make a decision to so they can they can come to you or yeah they want you to decide what you want from this relationship what's the overall energy keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type or expectations so this could be someone different um, from your usual type or even you're not sure what to expect from this person or this relationship because it could be very new as well or um, you don't have high expectations here I feel heart to heart conversation that needs to happen I feel that something they're hiding from you or that you need to discuss be more honest with each other with a retreat card in the obstacle it's like they can't be with you or you can't be together or they're running away or they feel uh that you know there's one of you may be retreating a lot from this connection hiding from this connection so there's a, um, a more honest approach here because with the keep an open mind, this person may not be your type or again, yeah, so you possibly don't want to get involved or um, yeah, so at least there, there's a need to keep the lines of communication open and really discuss how you feel discuss how you feel someone could just be wanting to spend some time sometimes with you or you with them and nothing more serious for now because that's why they keep an open mind is the general overall energy so don't expect too much or you're not expecting a lot from from this but time will tell worth waiting for outcome for Pisces separation I feel like when you in separation you miss each other and one of you is denying this connection okay and always come back and reconcile for others of you, it's just a situation where there could be a third party situation, not for all. And this person separates back and forth with um, a past lover. And um, they keep going uh, on and off, on and off. And this, this new person, it's like you still or they still don't know about you for sure. If they want to be, be with you for sure. Or you may have a new person, but there's this past love that is in and out of your life. And you're giving it, you know, you're giving it time. You're putting someone on hold. That's why one of you is hiding or they putting you on hold if you're involved with a um, 
someone else that you on and off, they coming back. It's only a matter of time. You may have already reconciled, but you have a new person waiting for you, um, wanting you to make a decision about them. So let's see what's this. Uh, how do you feel about this new person? Wow, union, marriage. So you can see possible commitment here, but um, someone needs to deal with their past love. Someone needs to stop going back to someone from their past. You may see that they want a committed relationship and you're not really sure about a committed relationship because this is how you see them. They want a marriage, a union, promise from you, and you may not be yet sure. Very soon they want you to make a decision, Pisces. How do they see you? Interest in, in talking, uh, getting, to, getting to know more. They're waiting for your message. They're waiting for you to make a decision. They're waiting for your message. Keep an open mind. Clarify this for Pisces mid-December. Break up, make up, break up, make up. Act, silent treatment. So, always like that. That's why, you know, you, that's even you putting someone... In that situation, some of you uh, giving them the silent treatment because you're not sure about commitment with them and you're not sure if you're going to go back to someone from your past. Um, you're not sure if you want to speak to someone new and start talking to someone new or start seeing someone new yet. Or this new person is doing that to you on and off. Keep an open mind as well. If you separated from someone and you are, you know, getting to know someone new is telling you, give it, you know, keep an open mind. It may be someone good. Heart to heart conversation. So that's uh, a positive here, which I feel this is what you need to have instead of cutting off or running away from conversation. From a heart to heart with them, both receiving what you need, arriving, progression, moving on, closure issues. Wow. Some of you, this is closure here that you're gonna have with the past person, you're getting back together for closure. And that's what you need, that's what you just need. From them or if this is someone that's coming back be mindful they may just want to closure just one more night with you or one more conversation and then cut you off again let's take another card here Pisces Endings to uh, so it can bring new beginnings. So some of you ending a relationship with someone and starting a new one. Okay. With the closure issues, you may be going back and then you know find your closure there. Stop talking to someone, uh, completely cutting them off because you found closure. Now you're moving on to a new relationship. Or someone is doing that to you. Be mindful. But you're going to receive what you need. Um, a feeling of freedom and liberation and a new beginning that is starting for you. Let's see the retreat. Twenty-eight. 
Twin Flame and the Runner. So you may be involved with a Twin Flame and they're running, or you are the runner. Yin and Yang. Yeah, someone is definitely running away from uh, intimacy, from uh, following their intuition here about how they feel about you. It could be you because they're the ones who, they want you to make a decision about them. You may be fearful. You may be running back to a twin flame or um, you may be running back to someone. With this twin energy, it's that um, duality. It can be really good, but can also be make you feel uncomfortable at times. So, worth waiting for. And separation. That I will clarify in the outcome. Going to see how you see this person again with more cards. Two of Cups. So you may not see that you guys are for each other or someone requited love here. Could be intimacy. You don't really get along, along intimately. There is a, uh, you see, living it out in a cold in terms of conversation here. Someone keeps doing that silent treatment. Very codependent energy. This person really is waiting for you to say something. Seven of Cups. They see that you can't make a decision and have options. The Knight of Cups, they're definitely in love with you and want this relationship to move forward. Keep an open mind. That's, that could be a Scorpio or a Cancer, Pisces, like yourself, but Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Again, this is just a passion, but uh, things don't change in terms of how you and this person communicate. Breakup, separation, silent treatment. It's all about all about the passion. Someone wants to just keep that. They don't want to. One of you do, don't, doesn't want to talk. Doesn't want to keep in touch. Just want to have this. Um, it's an intense connection with the Twin Flame. Not all of you are Twin Flames, but uh, it's a very intense, uh, passionate connection and can leave you a little bit uh, of this person confused. They leave, uh, they get, they stay, they don't know how to handle this and how to deal with you uh, apart from, you know, being together intimately. They don't know how to move the relationship to a more, you know, a more committed level or more, uh, not even just commitment. I feel there's issues with communication. So with the Ten of Wands, it's difficult to really open up here. It could be a Leo or Sag. I feel that one of you struggles with um, self-control and confidence. Confidence to make this work. The retreat card here for Pisces. What's the obstacle? We have Libra and the Two of Swords. So. There is a lot of doubts here and not being able to make a decision to put things right. That's the issue here. Putting putting things right. Being truthful. Running away. Someone runs away. So they run away from the truth. They run away from the true feelings that they have for you. 
or you doing this. You could also be running away from commitment, doing the right thing, or they are. I do see for some there is someone unsure about divorcing another because they keep going back. They keep on staying on and off. It could be that someone is married already. The marriage could represent that, you know, um, or they want marriage with you. You see them as they want marriage and you're not sure because I do clarify with the two of cups, you're not sure. If this is the one for you, so you may have another choice, or you're really not sure about this uh, relationship. You need more mental stimulation, I feel, and you usually Pisces are more about the emotions, right? But you need to communicate better so you can really understand each other, and you that could be something that you need to work on if. Or they don't even know that they need to work on that with you. But they wait for your message. They wait for conversation. And I feel they just get really codependent on the feeling. And they feel a lot instead of... And they don't know how to act maybe with you, okay? Well, it's you that you feel this connection and you don't know how to act and communicate with them. I'm going to clarify in the outcome, this situation, the outcome, the outcome, the ex in the extended reading. Okay. I will clarify the outcome. And um, yeah, some of you just need time, but there is a on and off connection coming back in reconciliation from someone you've been separated with from or they are going to separate with that person and make you wait the extended reading all you need to do is to uh, become a member of the channel you can press join and you have access to all the extended readings for the whole month the link is in the description below this video and in the comment section the link to the video but the button you have to press is the join button on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much, Pisces. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, and happy new year. And I'll see you there. If not, I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.